This is what we will be making today, a simple wave counter. And when the wave ends, a new wave will appear. Perfect. Let's begin. So before we begin, this tutorial is going off of another tutorial here on YouTube. It's by somebody that's named Lua Makes Games. And the tutorial that I'm going off of is called Godot Spawn Enemy. I will leave a link down in the description so you can go ahead and catch up and follow along. So that way, once you're all caught up with that video, this is what you should be having at this point. So real quickly, I'm going to go over the player. What I have set up is a kinematic body 2D, a sprite, and a collision shape. And then there is a script here. It's just a simple movement script here. I'm not going to go too much into detail as to what I have. Um, there will be a GitHub, so that way you can go ahead and fully explore this and copy. But this is all that I have here. And then for over on the enemy side, uh, we have the same setup here uh, as the player, but there is a visibility notifier 2D. And then I did hook up a signal, a screen exit. And then on the script on the enemy, uh, this basically moves the enemy in one direction, the speed of course. And then on the visibility notifier, this is what I have set up for him. That is all. So let's go ahead and get to the meat of the tutorial here. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's go ahead and create a global script. Get a new script and then just call it global. Go ahead and hit create. And then let's go ahead and open it up just real quick. Okay, let's go over this very quickly. Uh, var wave count equals zero. And then var wave num equals zero. And then I created a function called wave counter. And in it, we have wave count plus equals one. And then if wave count will equal five, then wave num plus equals one. So basically this value right here will indicate how many enemies uh, we kill, or in our case in the tutorial, how many enemies get off the screen. Uh, the value I put here is five. You can go ahead and put whatever value you wish. Uh, for now, let's just hit five and then uh, once it reaches that number, we go ahead and give wave num a value there. And then reset basically resets the count back. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and move on over on the enemy script. Let's go ahead and plug that in. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait, one more step. I almost forgot. <laughs> let's go ahead and hit save. And let's go ahead and make this an auto load Lobo script. Add. Perfect. That's going to give us access to this script. All right. Now in the enemy, save here. Well, that's not the enemy. Okay. On the enemy, all we're simply going to put is global dot wave. Let's see here. Just to make sure it's gone. Underscore wave counter. Perfect. That's all we're going to put in here. Underscore wave counter. There you go, and that activates it. So every time the enemy dies, remember it gives it one count to it. And that's it. Now let's move on to UI. All right, so what are we gonna do next is create a UI. Just gonna go right here at child node and then do node 2D and call this UI. Then under it, let's go ahead and add a control label. So we are going to add a couple of labels here. Let's see, right there. All right, in the first one, we are going to call this wave text. And all this is basically going to have is wave. That is all that it's going to do. Uh, before we continue, go ahead and go to UI Z index and add two values so that way the text hovers over the um, the screen here so that way nothing interrupts it. And the next thing, you know, let's add another label here. And we're going to call this one next wave. Now this one's actually going to have a script. Let's see. We'll do that next wave. All right. Okay, so on here, this is how it's going to look. Okay, function process delta if global dot wave count will equal five. 
then we're basically going to update the uh, text on here with the global wave num. And this will indicate which wave we are on next. And then afterwards, we're going to call global.reset. This basically resets the wave count. Okay, that's all we need for that. And then one more label. And this one is just going to be, oh, great. This one is next wave text. Just to do text. And this one is going to be next wave. Right here, uppercase. This is basically going to show when the next wave has arrived. Let's turn off visibility. We're going to activate that in the script. And basically, all right, that's it. Let's move on and let's make all this work. All right, over in the world script, this is what we're going to add. All right, I'll go over this one by one. On, we're going to make two on ready vars. The first one is going to be timer equals get node, and we're simply going to get spawn timer. And the second one is on ready var next wave, and we're simply going to get the node again. We're going to get the next wave text, the one that we've made visible off. And then we're going to set up a function process delta, and we're going to say if global that wave count does equal five, then we're going to simply call wave check. And then we went down here and create a wave check. And then line by line here, we have timer dot stop. This basically stops the timer or our spawn timer here. And then we want to print out stop just in case everything's working. Uh, you don't have to do that, that's option. And then timer dot set wait time to two. So basically we're delaying it by two seconds. We're delaying all of this. And then next wave dot visible equals true. So we're going to activate this and it's going to flash in the screen. And then after that, it's timer dot start. One more thing we want to do is next wave dot visible equals false. We want to turn that back off when the timer starts over again. So that way that won't be much of an issue. All right, let's go ahead and save and let's go ahead and test this out. Make sure it all works. Drag that over here. Okay, it's one. Let's see here, two, three, four, and five. And then next wave and one. Oh, we forgot to fix that. <laughs> Hold on. We forgot to fix this. Let's see here. Let's add a placeholder so now we know what we're looking at. There you go. That's all we needed to add. There you go. All right, let's try it again. And that's basically it. This is basically what you do to set up a wave counter. Once the fifth enemy dies, uh, it will stop and it will indicate the next wave right up here. And then it will continue. You don't have to do what I did in terms of de like delete the enemy. You can just do it and indicate when the enemy dies. You activate the global script that we've set up. Um, that's about it. This is as simple as it gets. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, my name is Ghostbit. Uh, I do have plenty more tutorials. I could teach you how to like set up a boss script or uh, how to how to make sure uh, the waves spawns out different types of enemies. Now uh, let me know down in the comments if this is what you want to see. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will set up a GitHub for all of this. And also I will link uh, assets to what you see here too. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next video.